Oh, how is she? She's okay. She's just right in there. Thanks. Oh, my. They have you on machines? Yeah, the uh, jackal is so obtuse. Jack jackal. If you want to stay in this room, you dial it down right now. She needs to stay as calm as possible. Yes, ma'am. I mean it. I understand. She wants to run some tests and do some x-rays. Well, I'm sure it's just an excess of precaution. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, an excess of precaution. My heart and I, we're going to be fine. Just fine. I hear we had a hell of a night. Must be a full moon. Customers lost their shirts and their skirts, and then they drowned their sorrows in a sea of high-end booze. Love it. I can remember a time seems like only yesterday when you would have loved it too. What's the matter? I'm sick of myself. <laughs> no need to explain. Spanky, you know, I used to have this lone wolf thing down to a fine science. Pick up and go whenever I wanted. Minimal emotional attachments. So can you tell me why I'm now stuck in parental hell? I feel your pain. Who is your current cause for concern? Ethan. Something bad this way comes. What, the green card thing? We can take care of that. No, no, baby, it's not the green card thing. He's being stalked by Christina Davis. Oh, you know, Sonny's precious little nightmare. I tell you, there's gonna be fallout, and I would rather pull my own teeth. Did you witness? this altercation between Christina and Ethan? Everybody in the joint witnessed it. She came in here dressed like a baby hooker, high on teenage angst, furious with Dodge for giving her the cold shoulder. He lost his cool with her, then lost it with me, and then he slammed out of here with guns blazing. Well, clearly she misinterpreted his intention. He is not the type to take advantage of a starry-eyed young girl. Well, you and I know that, but we may be the only ones. This thing ain't going away. Sonny's going to hear about it, and then Ethan is going to have to answer for it. But you said that Sonny gave you his sainted word he would never lay a hand on Ethan. Yeah, when it came to uh, Johnny Zakara. But, you know, this is his baby girl. You're considering preemptive action? What I'm considering is getting it all out of my head, just letting it go. I've got that in meeting tomorrow in Vegas. I'm going to stop thinking about my grown-up kids. Ethan is smart, and he has taken care of himself for a long time. I hope. Where's Finelli? Oh, for Pete's sake, Max. Well, he was really just... upset, and he was blaming himself. He kept saying he was sorry over and over again, and then he just left. Well, with any luck, it's going to stay that way. <sighs> Wait a minute. Where, where do you think you're going? Something is wrong. I just, I need to find him. That's not uh, going to happen. Oh, thank God. Dr. Cornerman, can you please tell my highly annoying but well-meaning family that I'm okay to go home? I'm afraid I can't do that. You have pneumonia, and it is causing severe strain on your heart. You're getting more and more like your father every day. Wow. What happened? Cat got your face? Uh, I had a nasty little run-in with reality. Lesson learned. Good intentions lead straight to hell. 